hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm lucy and it's super good to have you here i'm super excited about today's video i'm super excited that i'm showing my face on here today because i want to make this channel more fun and less robotic i don't want it to just be about diys and only diys um straightforward i want it to be an experience and i want it to be fun for whoever watches my video and decides to come back to the channel please leave a comment in the comment section below telling me your suggestions on how to go about this fun youtube if you really want a fun youtube or you just want the straightforward um diy kind of channel so yeah that's by the way um from the title you already know what we are here for or the thumbnail but if you still don't know by now well i'm here to tell you we are going to be making an ottoman bench from plastic buckets <laughs> yeah so if you are like me and you store random items just because you know you're going to definitely use them for diys then this video is for you and you need to keep watching because i bet you have plastic buckets somewhere around and even if you don't have plastic buckets somewhere around and you decide to buy it's not that expensive it's not more than one dollar or two dollars to buy one and the total of the to total i spent on this diy isn't more than 15 dollars so yeah you're going to be on the safe side if you decide to do this diy because the actual ottoman goes for about 200 dollars and above or not too less maybe 180 dollars the last time i checked so if you're interested in this video please stay tuned stick watch till the end and please do me a favor by subscribing and turn on your post notifications so you get notified anytime i post new videos like this follow me on instagram at luantaz l-u-a-n-n-t-a-z-z -Z. and let's head to the video already the bucket i'll be using um, for this ottoman, I'm going to go ahead and take measurements of the three partitions at the top part of the bucket and they are basically the same size so I took the measurement with my masking tape um, because obviously I felt like I boiling it was going to be a total waste of time and my masking tape was the closest to the size so I transferred the masking, the measurements I got from the masking tape to my foam and I went ahead and cut off three strips from my foam. I'll be cutting the foam for the last part of the um, partition because there's um, a space for handle or spaces about four spaces for handle I don't know what bucket has four spaces for handle though, but this one has four spaces for handle and those handles are about one inch if I'm right and the foam is supposed to meet up for this for this size so I'm going to go ahead and glue the foam to it and that's what I'm doing now So this process is supposed to give us a smooth finish at the end and it's also to make it easy to blend or add any extra add the fabric when we need to yeah because if you add the fabric to it without doing this step it's basically not, or add the foam to it without doing the step either it's basically going not going to be the same size and it's going to look very rough After that, I'm going to go ahead and glue foam to the remaining part of the bucket and um, trim off the edges. Because 
since we're going for a smooth finish i'm going to go ahead and add or glue another one inch foam to cover up all the blemishes So by the way guys, I had to add the um, white paper to the floor so I don't mess up my floor because this glue can get really messy and sticky and all over the place. Even on the paper right, it's already getting very messy. So now I'm going to trim off the excesses and next I'm going to do is measure and cut a piece from the center of the foam or basically cut off the center of the foam so I can get the desired design. <laughs> and next thing I'm going to do is throw on this fabric, really really cheap fabric that I got from um, a clothes store. and. I kind of wanted to use a very a stretchy fabric but this one still wasn't that bad but I think a stretchy fabric would do this better because you'd have completely smooth out um, finish so I'm going to glue the fabric to the middle where I just got our foam from and then I'm going to finish at the end or at the bottom of the foam I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other side too but I'm going to glue the end inside the bucket instead of at the bottom of the bucket. <laughs> Next, I'm going to glue a gold reflective paper to these cardboard strips I already cut out and after that it's supposed to look like this and next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is add some glue to the back of the um, cardboard strip that I already cut out and after that I'm just going to place it on my DIY and glue it there. So guys, I added white art card to the bucket, to the inside of the bucket to give it a smooth finish for my ottoman and then I'm going ahead to glue this cupboard box that I already cut out um, to shape. I glued it with the cover of the bucket because I wanted a stronger um, cover so you could sit on it and then after that I glued this forms together and to give it a thick feel when you sit on it and then I'm going to go ahead and glue the foam to the cover of the bucket and I'm going to do that with my glue gun So to finish it up, I'm going to go ahead and add um, a piece of fabric to it and I'm going to glue the fabric to it at the back and I'm going to fold carefully to not 
leave prints or patterns at the front part and after that I'm going to cut off the excesses and cover the rough part. <laughs> So to cover the rough part, I'm going to go ahead and glue this gold cake tray to it. This cake tray I had in my house for a very long time and I didn't even know I was going to finally use it. And I kept it in my house because I knew I was going to use it for my DIY and finally I'm using it. So I made two of these because I didn't really like the one with the uh, cover of the pocket. So I tried out one with just cover sheet and this is what it looks like and you're going to see the one with just the cover of the pocket at the end of the video go ahead and tell me the one you prefer at the comment section below and please don't forget to thumbs up this video and like if you haven't already done that see you in my next video bye